Hello, music community. As you see, I have a stack of CDs. Um, CDs are, are something I, I don't pick up all that often. Um, you know, more often than not, I'm, I'm looking for cassettes or vinyl, so. But I'm not afraid to pick up um, CDs, if, as, in particular if they're bands I've never heard of and I'm wanting to explore and stuff I've never seen on vinyl or cassette. Um, you might consider them more recent releases um, that that haven't uh, been released in either of those other vintage formats. Um, yeah, so I was happy to pick up uh, a stack here. Uh, this was over two two different visits. First of all, a little mini stack. Correct me in my pronunciation, but. I'm I'm not all that familiar with the the music of Sigur Rós, um, and I could have done my research to you know be able to ac at least say where they're from, <laughs> but I failed to do that as usual. But maybe you can inform me. Uh, but I think, as far as I know, I w I was probably familiar with maybe one of their songs. Um, but since I've been listening to these, uh, I'm not even sure that I've ever heard a song by them. Um, I, I most know them for, um, sometimes, sometimes my music uses, uh, samples or loops. Um, and the drummer for Sigaros, um, he's, he's put out a lot of, um, um, uh, loops for the, the looping community. So, uh. Not free, of course, but <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I I managed to start a small collection of of um, Sigur Rós. <laughs> so the the dog you, you you see her rear end right here is is really distracting me. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. So let's get down to these real quick. Um, the first one. Maybe I should just show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll try and pronounce it. Agadis Birian. I I want to say they're Scandinavian. That they're in one of those Scandinavian countries. Um, I could be entirely wrong. I probably am entirely wrong. But um, there you have that. So I, you know, I was I was glad to pick these up. Little booklet there. And um, I'm not sure, I listened to two of these, so, oh I know which ones, it's the next two that I was listening to. First of all, my initial impression of Sigaros, I like the packaging on this one, and this one the lady at the thrift store, she, <laughs> she kind of did a double take like, what is this? I think she even went like this, and <laughs> but you see, there's a it's it's like a a plastic, and it has a a die cut there. So uh, anyway, so this one is it's funny. Maybe it, it's just self-titled because everything's blank. <laughs> the CD is kind of blank. Well, actually, I. I don't know if that is intended to be like I don't know, it's weird. A very a very interesting I don't know if you can pick it up, but there's like a sort of pattern on the C D, but no real text. Ah, oh, there you go, you can pick it up a little bit. So you can pick up the pattern, but there's there's no real text. And it has an interesting booklet um on this vellum. kind of see-through paper. Uh, so I'm assuming this is self-titled. Um, although it's kind of a fancy... It's kind of a fancy edition. Um, to be on 
uh, to be for a, a first release. I don't know if you can see any information there, that, but anyway. Um, yeah, but my initial impression of Sigaros um, was, wow, I love this. This is amazing. Um, there's definitely a uh, world music quality to it, um, certainly. Um, if I remember correctly, some of, some of the singing is almost, almost chanting, really. Uh, I, I believe it's most, if not all, in a foreign language. Um, it has very quiet moments, and then frequently it'll build up to a real epic climax. Um, yeah, it's, it, the music is very grand, grand. Um, yes. But then I put in the, I think this is the one I listened to first. No, actually the next one is the one I listened to first. It doesn't matter. So I put this one in second, and I was like, this is, I mean, this is great, but it sounds exactly like the first one I listened to. <laughs> um, I mean, if, if I were to blindly put one on, I, I wouldn't be able, there's no way I could tell one from the other. No way. Um, so although I love the music, you know, the style from album to album, at least over those two albums, um, I might as well show, show you the other one. This is the other one that I'm talking about. Um, the style of those two albums is very, very similar. Very similar. Anyway, I'm spending a lot more time just on these, these first few. Um, I have several more to show you. So this one is interesting, though. Uh, Tack. T-A-K-K. -K. The, the packaging on this is very interesting. It's almost like a little hardcover book. Do you see that? And it, it it just blew me away. As soon as I saw it, I was like, man, this is interesting and beautiful. I love the packaging on this. I love it. Love it. That's This is what CDs should, should be like, man. I mean, if more CDs were like this, I think CDs would, would you know, stand a fighting chance against other formats, including digital downloads. I mean, look at this. This is... It's it's beautifully done. Beautifully done. Yeah, so... I mean, I, I, loved, I love their sound. Uh, now that I have a little experience under my belt of, of listening to Sigur Rós. Um, I love their sound. Um, but it's, it's probably not one of those bands that... I would want to listen to more than one of their albums at a time. Anyway, um, there you go. <clears throat> now on to uh, one that uh, still sealed, and that's the primary reason I picked it up, and then also the artwork. Um, but this is Worm Hate. Not at all familiar with them. Uh, I started to open it, but I was like, ah, I should share it with the music community first, and. <laughs> It, it looks right up my alley, though. <laughs> yeah, so I will be excited to put this on. This is gonna go right back in the car. Um, yeah, but whenever you can you can pick up a still see old CD for a buck or two, you're doing good. You're doing real good. Now th this good. one's interesting. Um, I love Philip Glass. I have some of his albums on um, vinyl. But this is my first Philip Glass uh, CD. And this is more symphonic uh, work, I believe. Um, that's one of the categories he, he worked in, I guess you would say. <clears throat> this is the Hero's Symphony, The Light. So I take it, it's, it's a... Oh, I see. It has The Light, and then it has Hero's Symphony. So, um, two, two different pieces, I guess. Um, it says, although he remains best known for the works he wrote for his own ensemble, orchestral music has been at the forefront of Philip Glass's activities for much of the last two decades. 
anyway, um, yeah. I'm, I'll be very interested to hear this. I, I love his, his, you know, ensemble work, I guess you would say, uh, or his solo work. Um, so I'll be very, very interested to hear this. I love classical music, so hearing Philip Glass do classical right up my alley. <clears throat> I, I know this next batch I picked up at the Salvation Army. Sort of a guilty pleasure for me is... Not necessarily this album. Uh, this is Prodigy, The Fat of the Land. <laughs> but the song, A Guilty Pleasure, Smack My Bitch Up. <laughs> a, a band I'm, I'm familiar with their name, um, and I'm sure I've heard stuff by them. I, I couldn't tell you offhand what, what genre of music, but Boards of Canada, the campfire head phase. I I'm not even gonna try and tell you what what uh, genre they are because you know I, I'm I'm bad at things like that. <laughs> yeah. For dollar fifty, I mean these were some great buys. Uh, now for some that I'm like completely not familiar with um but they looked cool so people in planes as far as the eye can see not at all familiar with them but the packaging is is really nice um and it just it just looks cool so for dollar fifty i'm gonna i'll take a chance on music every time every time. And this is a, another example of that. Um, I b oh, huh, interesting. Okay, so, apparently I didn't take a very close look at this. Um, I, I was kind of assuming, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking actually, um, that maybe this was like heavier music. Um, 480 East, round three. Um, but then I see here, it says higher octave jazz. So that's interesting. And on here, it says groundbreaking electro groove jazz. Electro groove jazz. Which kind of to me sounds like um, acid jazz. Maybe it's not, but um, that's you know my impression of of the packaging now, I guess. <laughs> so glad to pick that up. Yeah, a still sealed one, um, and uh, I'm I'm not familiar with them at all. Um, I think I think they might be a, a Christian band, actually. Um, now that I'm seeing some of the titles of the songs. Yeah, yeah, the, definitely a, a religious band. That's fine, because I, I, I like all types of music, all types of music, so. Uh, Small Town Poets, it's later than it's ever been. So. And Still Sealed, heck yeah, I'm going to pick it up <laughs> for $1.50. Uh, it, it says Grammy nominated Dove Award winners featuring the single The Truth Is Out. So that, I mean, that is kind of suggestive that it's it's um, a religious album. Uh, a band I'm, I'm familiar with, but at the same, not all that familiar with, but um, yes. Um, Cocteau Twins, Otherness. Well, picked up a nice stack of CDs. Um, I just love music in all of its all of its formats. So, and I hope you do too, because I mean, we need to we need to consume music however we can get our hands on it. So, all right. Well, 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.